So get this podcast. Listeners, Bill Maher says, I'm not paying for free college. He had an hysterical, just an hysterical uh, comedy line about free college. And I just want you to know the Democrats are serious about paying for college for all Americans. They want it to be free at the community college level. And they also want to expand that to four-year degrees. And I'm sure at some point, you know, the Democrat Party, they're going to go, well, yeah, but it's not, not fair that people should go to grad school and, and have debt. And then it's not fair that people should go to med school and have debt or law school and have debt. So they started out with community college and now it's four-year college. And you know, eventually it'll be grad school and med school and law school and who knows what, doctorate, doctoral candidates. So Bill Maher says, I'm not paying for free college. He has this hysterical, and I mean hysterical viewpoint on this particular subject, but he's quite serious and he's kind of tired of it because you would think that a a died in the wool liberal, you would think, would be all about free college, but not Bill because he brings up some really good points. But of course, only he can get away with this because he brings humor into it. So it enables us to laugh at ourselves. And that's why we love to put a lot of his skits on this podcast, because I think it's really important, especially now to laugh at yourself. So here's Bill Maher saying, who's going to pay for your college? We got that clip and here it is. We imagine going to college is the way to fight income inequality, but actually it does the reverse. If you have a bachelor's degree, you make about 65% more than someone who doesn't. And with a master's degree, it's more like 100% more. And the unemployment rate of college grads is about half what it is for high school grads. I know free college is a left-wing thing, but is it really liberal for someone who doesn't go to college and makes less money to pay for people who do go and make more? Ah, so there's the point. Is it really liberal to have someone who just graduates from high school and does not go on to higher ed and therefore statistically is going to make less money than college graduates, is it fair for that person who does not have a college degree to pay for the people who went to college and who are going to make more money as a result of going to college? That's Bill Maher's central theme, right? It's a great point. And his point is, is it really liberal to to suggest that that's okay? And the answer, of course, is, well, no, of course it's not a liberal position to pay for people to go to college and then get a degree knowing that they're going to make more money and the guy who just or girl who just graduated from high school who is not going to college and is going to earn throughout their lives less money than the college graduate is now sacked with those tax bills to pay for college for those people who went. And it's a perfectly commonsensical argument. So then Bill Maher goes on, does such a great job. He says, what kind of courses do these very spoiled college students take? And it matters because then we would be the ones paying for those courses, right? And this is really funny because he's absolutely right. Many of the courses they take are nonsensical courses. They, they don't do anything to advance education. But then we should be asked to pay for these courses? So here's Maher on this subject. A third of students now spend less than five hours a week studying. And when they do, it's for their onerous magnum cum bullshit course load of sports marketing, history through Twitter, <laughs> advanced racist spotting, intro to microaggressions, and you owe me an apology 101. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me an apology 101. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and so his point is, is we do have a lot of these ridiculous courses, at least many colleges do and many universities do. And students take those courses. And when they do, the parents, of course, uh, I wonder actually what the parents say, but <laughs> one thing we know for sure, should you pay for those courses through your tax bill? I mean, why am I responsible for your kid going to college? Why isn't it something, I mean, we, there are plenty of ways you can borrow money. You can choose to go to a less expensive college. You can go to community college. You can choose to go into a trade. There are many choices in life. But for some reason, there's this idea in the progressive movement that people who make the choice, the choice to go to college, should have this right. It's a new entitlement that someone else should pay for because they made the choice. And so Bill Maher naturally makes great great sense about this, but also lots of great humor. 
And so if you think that's bad enough, so many colleges are in the United States competing with one another for students that the, that the colleges are investing in and installing luxury dorms. They're installing all kinds of luxury items, hot tubs. In some cases, um, they're even installing things uh, like um, slip and slides and what is it, the water park themes, like themed lazy water river. parks? Yeah, the lazy river. Yeah. And so here is Bill Maher on that. Especially since colleges have turned into giant luxury daycare centers with overpaid babysitters anxious to indulge every student whim. The University of Missouri has a river grotto inspired by the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Texas Tech has one of the largest water parks in the country that includes a 25-person hot tub, tanning deck, water slide, and a lazy river. Can you imagine? Texas Tech has a lazy river and a water slide. They've got hot tubs. Okay, so these are things universities are putting in. Certainly legit for the university to do that if that's what they want. But then you and I have to pay higher taxes so that people make this choice to send their kids to the UC universities. Just doesn't make any sense. But Mar, as usual, does a really great job. And he, by the way, he's bucking his entire party because he's a Bill Maher is a, a classic, you know, liberal uh, in the classic in the classic sense. I mean, he does believe in entitlements, but even Maher at this point is going, well, wait a minute. This is why is this an entitlement? This is a, a luxury. This is not a have to have. This is not a must have. This is just a want to have. And at what point do we draw the line and say, well, the want to haves, I don't think we should actually have to be paying for. This doesn't make any sense. Nonetheless, President Biden and the Democrats in Congress want to dictate to the 50 states that community college should be free. Well, here's an idea. Why don't you fix K to 12 first? I mean, most people who go to community college, and this is a fact, most people who go to community college, their first year, many of the courses, I didn't say all people, but most, many of the courses they take during their first year of community college are remedial courses that they should have mastered while in K-12. to But they didn't. And so therefore, they're really in 13th grade because they weren't able to master these courses. In many cases, by the way, it's not their fault. In many cases, it just wasn't taught. And I think most people agree with that. Yet this should be free. We should just fix K to 12 first. And that is Bill Maher. I'm not paying for free college.